Hi, boys and girls. How are you today? I am so glad that you are here because Miss Kathy is trying to get her garden planted and I am having such a hard time with patterns. I thought maybe you could help me. Would you mind doing that before we start our story? Do you know what patterns are? Well, we'll find out. Okay. In Miss Kathy's first row of flowers, do you like my flowers? Some of them are orange and some of them are blue. Do you remember those two signs? Orange, like you're squeezing an orange, and blue, like you're waving. Orange, blue. Okay, let's see if you can find the pattern and help me out. Orange flower, blue flower. Orange flower, blue flower. Orange flower. What should I plant next? To make a nice pattern, let's see. Orange, blue, orange, blue, orange. You think blue? Okay, I'll try it, let's see. Okay, let's see if we have a nice pattern. Orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. Good job, wow, you guys are good at this. Will you help me with the second row? Okay, here we go. Red, do you remember how to sign red? We point to our lips. Do you remember yellow? Yellow, make a Y, the letter Y, yellow. So we have red, yellow in this row, okay? See if you can find the pattern, ready? Red, yellow, yellow. Red, yellow, yellow. What do I plant? Do I plant another yellow one? Do I plant a red one? What do you think? Let's try it again. Red, yellow, yellow. Red, yellow, yellow. Oh, quit shouting. You think, you think red? See if you're right. Red, yellow, yellow. Red, yellow, yellow. Red, good job. Wow, you guys are amazing. Okay, I only have one more row, but it was the hardest one for Miss Kathy. Oh, we've got three colors. We've got red, we've got orange, and we have blue. Can you sign those? Red, orange, blue. Make sure your thumb's in. Blue. Good job. Okay. You look for the pattern. Are you ready? Red, orange, blue. Red, orange, blue. I think this one's really hard. Let's do it again. Red, orange, blue. Red, orange, blue. Can you sign it for me? You want me to do this one? Okay, I'll do this one. Is it right? Red, orange, blue. Red, orange, blue. Red, ah, oh, boys and girls, thank you so much. Look how beautiful my flower garden is. How many flowers do you see? Me blue flowers. Let's see if you were right. I'm going to pick them. One, two, three, more, four, five blue flowers. Good job. How many flowers are there? Do you know what that's a sign for? Orange. How many orange flowers are there? I'll give you a minute to count them. <laughs> what? You think five again? Okay, let's see. I'll pick them. One, two, three, four, five orange 
orange flowers. Oh, they smell so good. All right, how many? How many yellow flowers? How many yellow flowers do you see? Really, you think? Okay, let's try to see if you're right. One, two, three, four. Did you guess four? Good job, four yellow flowers. Oh, all we have left are our red roses. How many red roses do we have? Red. Can you sign red? Good job. How many? Okay, let's see if you're right. Keep that number in your head. One, two, three, four, five, six roses. Did you guess six? You are a super smarty is what you are. Haven't we been having a good time on Shadow Mountain? Oh, Charlie, Red, and Preston are having so much fun, but they're also having a little bit of a mystery. Now, the first time they went up the mountain, do you re Oh, man, I showed you. Do you remember what they found in the tree? Oh, you were listening. That's right. They found a package, and inside that package was a beautiful deer. Do you remember what the deer was made out of? Wood. That's right. Someone had taken a knife and carved it out of wood, and it was very, very beautiful. And remember when they were looking at the deer, they saw a path, and they heard a sound. Do you remember what they heard? That's right, they heard, boom, they heard a door slamming. So they sneaked through the trees and they looked and they saw a small cabin. Wow, well, they were really surprised because daddy had told them that nobody lives up on the mountain. And they were very surprised to see a little cabin. And so they wanted to know who was inside the cabin. So being curious boys, they got closer and closer and closer. And do you remember who came out of the cabin? Terrible Tim the Giant. Was he friendly? No, he was not, Miss Kathy. He said, get away, go away. And those boys ran and hightailed it down that mountain. They did not want to mess with Terrible Tim. Well, they got home, and that evening, they were showing the deer to Grandpa. And Grandpa said, oh, you know what? I heard some of the people talking in town that a lumberjack had come to live up on Shadow Ledge. That's that flat part. Remember, the mountain went up, got kind of flat, then it went back up again. Shadow Ledge. I heard that some hunters saw his cabin up there. Well, what's his name, Grandpa? Well, he hardly ever talks to anybody. Do you remember what he does when he comes in the store? Just kind of grunts. I think his name is Tim, but the people in town call him Terrible Tim. And Charlie, you best not mess with him. But that night, when they were doing their verse with Grandpa, be not deceived, God is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Charlie just could not get Terrible Tim off his mind. And then Grandpa was talking to them about when we sow seed, we don't only sow seed in our hearts, we sow seed in other people's hearts too. And do you remember? There were a couple ways we did that. Do you remember? By our actions, how we act. How, how do we act when we're in Sunday school? How do we act when we're in school? How do we act when we're at Walmart? When people see how you act and you're acting well behaved and you're respecting your mommy and daddy, that plants a good seed in their heart. 
And we can plant seeds by our deeds, the things we do. Maybe we do something special for our neighbor or we do something special for our brother or sister. Or maybe we surprise mommy and daddy and we clean up our room without them even asking. Those are deeds that plant good seeds in people's hearts. Oh, and the hardest part, our words. When we get angry, sometimes we want to say mean words to our brothers or sisters, like, I hate you. Get away from me. Those are mean words. And those don't plant good seeds in other people's hearts. Kind words and loving words, like Jesus would say, those plant good seeds in other people's lives. But we have to water those seeds. We have to make sure we take some time every day to pray and pray that God will take that seed that we plant and help it to grow because only God can make that seed grow. So we have to be careful to pray. Well, that night when Charlie went upstairs and the boys got all ready for bed and the lights were all out and it was ready it was ready to go to sleep everybody was ready to go to sleep charlie had to share his idea red preston you wake yeah charlie we're awake i got a really good idea guys i'm a little scared but but i think we should do it what do you want to do charlie i think we should go up Shadow Mountain tomorrow, and I think we should tell Terrible Tim about Jesus. Charlie, are you crazy? That guy's huge. He told us to go away. I don't think we should go back up there. I'm scared of him. And Red said, Charlie, I don't know if that's such a good idea. And Charlie was glad the lights were out because Charlie was a little scared too. And they thought about it for a minute and Charlie said, oh, guys, I've got a really good idea. I brought my Bible with me and in my Bible, I have a little track. Do you know what a track is? Did you ever go to the restaurant and your mommy and daddy will leave a little piece of paper for the waitress to tell her about Jesus? Or maybe your pastor goes on, on visiting night and he gives people a track and it tells them on that little piece of paper all kind of Bible verses and how they can learn about Jesus and, and come to have Jesus in their heart. Well, Charlie said, I have a track. Why don't we go up the mountain? We don't even have to see Terrible Tim. We'll just leave it at the door and we'll leave. That's a good plan. And the boys thought about it and they said, oh, Charlie, I don't know, but we'll give it a try. Oh boy. So the next morning, the rooster cock the doodle doo. And the boys helped with the chores because they really want to help grandpa while they're there. So they helped feed the chickens and do the pigs and do all that stuff they do. And they said hi to Lass and they checked on the sheep. But then it was time to, oh, I got to show you what, what Charlie has in his pocket. Can you see what he has in his pocket? What do you think that is? That's his track. He is going to leave that for Terrible Tim so he can read about Jesus. And they were excited, but they were scared. So they're going up the mountain and they're talking about what a huge, giant Terrible Tim was. And Charlie said, you know what? I don't think he's nearly as big as Goliath was in the Bible. Goliath was really a giant. He was huge. And you know what, Red and Preston? David, little David, he trusted God enough to help him fight that mean old giant. And if David can do it by trusting God, we can leave this little track for terrible Tim and not be afraid. And they went up that hill really bravely and they got to the tree remember the tree that had the deer in it you're not gonna believe this there was another package in the tree get out they went over another package 
and they unwrap that package. And in that package was a carved beaver. Beaver. Do you know what a beaver is? A beaver, where would a beaver live? In a tree? On a mountain? You're right, in the water. They have very big flat tails and they like to build things in the water. That's where they build their homes. And beavers have very sharp front teeth so they can gnaw at that wood and make things out of the wood with their teeth. Where's all this stuff? That's beautiful. That's another, do you think Terrible Tim put, it can't be Terrible Tim. I can't imagine that big giant mean guy making a beautiful first deer, now a beaver. Who's putting these in the tree? This is such a mystery. Well, after climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing, they finally got to the cabin. Okay. Charlie, go take the track over. Aren't you guys coming all by myself? Preston, why don't you take? And he handed it to Preston. Oh, I don't want to take it. Here, Red, you take it. No, it's Charlie's idea. You take it, Charlie. Okay. Charlie said, let's all do this together. We're a team. Let's sneak over. We'll be quiet as mice. We'll leave the track. Scoot off. He'll never know we're there. So they tiptoed through. And it's hard to be quiet when you're walking on leaves because they crunch up. And, and Red's foot hit a little stick. And it, it cracked. And they stopped. And they tried to be so very, very, very quiet. And Charlie had his track in his hand. He was kind of shaking. And he got right to the door. I mean, they made it right to the door. And the door opened. Get off this mountain. Get out of here. Do I have to tell you again? If you come back, I'll... And they didn't wait to listen. Woo! Back down the hill again. And they got to the bottom of the hill. And Charlie was so sad. He still had the track in his hand. He forgot to give it to Terrible Tim. Oh, guys, we weren't very good missionaries. We didn't plant any seed at all. We just made him angrier. God can't do anything with that. We really failed. And they were feeling a little bit sad. And Grandpa could tell something was up. And he said, hey, boys, I'm going into town. Do you want to come with me? You can look around the general store. Oh, that's fun. So they all piled in the truck and they went into town. Now, it's not a big store like when you go to Walmart or Target or something like that. It's a very small store because Grandpa lives way out in the country. And it's just a little store. And it has all kind of penny candy and canned goods and baskets and brooms and a little bit of clothing had a big barrel do you know what was in that pickles big pickles in that oh it was such a fun store and charlie red and preston forgot all about their troubles they were looking around the store and they were having a good time until Someone came in to the store. You're not going to believe this. Terrible Tim! Oh my goodness, it's Terrible Tim! What do we do? We gotta hide, we gotta hide. And you think he saw us? And, and so, Charlie, Red, and Preston, they got back behind the big pickle, pickle barrel and man, they were shaking and they, they got all scrunched out. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. Shh, be quiet. And they were shaking. Well, Terrible Tim went up to the guy who was working at the store. Let me see your knives. I want a nice, sharp one. Oh no! 
what's terrible Tim going to do? Is he going to see Red and Preston and Charlie hiding behind the pickle jar? I don't know. You'll have to come back tomorrow and find out. Okay, we're going to, I know, I know, Miss Kathy hates doing that, but you know how it is, okay? We have to stop somewhere. We're going to learn a new song today. Well, this is the one we, we did before. Let's do this one first, okay? Oh, be careful, little heart, what you sow. Because what you put in the ground is going to grow. What are we supposed to plant? Plant loving, godly seeds, and your father will be pleased when he sees your lovely garden start to grow. Now, Charlie, Red and Preston, they really wanted to plant some good seeds in Terrible Tim's heart. And they don't feel like they did a very good job of it, do they? But you know what? God tells us if we plant good things, we're going to get good things back. So listen to my song and then we'll try it together, okay? You reap what you sow. You get what you grow. This is the law that the Lord has made. Give to others and you'll never lack. Plant some good and the good will come back. I know that's kind of a hard one, but it's a fun song to sing. And you little boys and girls, I'll give you some of the words, okay, when we get to it. Ready? You reap what you sow. You get what you grow. This is the law that the Lord has made. Give to others and you'll never lack. Plant some good and your good will come back. I like that song. Let's try it again. Ready? Okay, boys and girls, you can do reap and you can do sow. You know those two words. Okay, ready? And big kids, you can read the words. All right, ready? You reap what you sow, you get what you grow. This is the law that the Lord has made. Give to others and you'll never lack. Plant some good and the good will come back. Do you remember deceived? Pointy. Pinky. Ready? Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7. Good job. Let's do it a little slower for the little boys and girls, okay? Be not deceived. God is is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap galatians 6 7 really good job one more time be not deceived god is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap. Galatians 6, 7. I can't wait to see this story. It's getting so exciting. And we're learning new songs. And we're learning so much about sowing and reaping. I love you, boys and girls. You come back tomorrow. Don't miss tomorrow and see what happens. Okay? Love you. Bye-bye.